Hi, I'm Gary Moody, bassoon professor at Colorado State University. Today I'm going to discuss some ways to prepare for this year's Colorado All-State Ensembles auditions. In this video, I will be dealing with the etude in the Rubank Advanced Method Book 1, page 53, number 29. Let me first address a few technical aspects of this etude particular to the bassoon. You may be accustomed to playing the F sharp with the thumb key, but in the first bar, that makes a smooth transition between the F sharp and the A sharp impossible. The problem can be solved by using the right pinky F sharp key. Many students mistakenly think that you need to reach all the way across the F key to press this, but since the F sharp key also presses down the F key, it is all right to press both keys. I think of pressing the seam between the two keys or right on the roller if your bassoon has one. Using this F sharp key leaves your thumb free to move to the next A sharp. Many fingering charts show a fingering for thumb F sharp that does not include the F key. Indeed, the thumb F sharp mechanism closes the F key so that it is not necessary to press it with your little finger. However, it does not hurt to leave that F key down. When moving between the F sharp and the E sharp in measure 14, I leave the F key down so that I only have to move my thumb when alternating between the two notes. This solves any finger coordination problems. A big part of the challenge of this etude is in bars 8 and 16 when we need to play the low notes softly at the end of the phrase when our air might be running out. When low on air, there is a tendency to pinch and this will cause these notes to be sharp or overblow into the higher octave. To play in the low register of the bassoon, one must stay more open and use good air support for the notes that really require a lot of air volume. Keep your tongue in a position as if you were saying oh or even aw and increasing your air support will hold down the pitch and keep the instrument in the correct octave. Adjusting your vowel shape is known as voicing and every range has a voicing that helps it speak correctly. Create an awesome low range with an aw voicing. It is good practice to work just these two measures using a tuner to ensure that you are holding down the pitch for the lowest notes. An understanding of the harmonic structure of the melodic patterns can enhance your musical expression. This etude is in B minor. The first measure almost looks like a scale, but it is really a B minor arpeggio with lower chromatic neighbors below the F sharp and B. These notes become like the spice of a measure, and I like to stress them a bit. Another option would be to de-emphasize them and bring out the arpeggio notes. Either is more interesting than just playing everything the same. Bar 3 climbs up a scale with the destination of the F sharp at the start of bar 4. The scale overshoots this goal up to the G and springs back to the F sharp, which is then reinforced with an F sharp major arpeggio. Once again, this G is spice, which can either be stressed or de-emphasized. The structural line moves from the G in bar 5 stepwise down through the circled notes to low D. This D is our new harmonic home, as D major is the relative key to B minor. Practice bars 5 through 8 with only the circled skeletal notes holding each out for the full bar and overlaying the dynamic shape requested. Each of these skeletal notes moves up the scale varying between the natural and melodic forms of B minor. You can now add these notes in, maintaining the dynamic shape. In bars 9 to 10 and 14 to 15, I see some skeletal notes along with notes that serve as either lower neighbors to the skeletal notes or as passing between them. In this copy, I have left the skeletal notes large and reduced the size of the neighbor tones. There are some unfamiliar notes such as B sharp, E sharp, and G double sharp. Notice how each of these are chromatic lower neighbors, meaning they approach the following note from below by a half step. 
Think of these lower neighbors not as their unusual spellings, but merely as a half-step lower bending of, into the following notes with a magnetic pull to their destination. I hope this video will be helpful to you in your preparations. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me. Good luck with your audition. Thank you.